Welcome to fourth tutorial of NV in JS and RS solution channel. If you want to learn remote sensing image processing techniques through NV, then keep in touch by subscribing the channel. However, in today's tutorial, you will learn about geometric correction image to image georeferencing techniques. If you don't watch previous three videos in this NV series, then you can check this out. This image to image uh, georeferencing techniques uh, here I will use these two data spot and uh, TM image so first uh, we need to start uh, NV from the program so right here NV classic and click on this so NV uh, classic dialog appears here so you can see over here two image data I will use for this tutorial here go to file then open image file image to image then uh, I'm just adding this two image file spot image and other one is TM image click open here you can see three uh, NB window uh, opened here the first one is uh, the uh, you can see here first one is the image window and second one is uh, scroll window and third one is uh, zoom window so if you uh, if you just uh, drag this red box in here then you can see it appears as a zoom You can see over here uh, the two images. This is uh, first one is uh, TM image. This one and this one is spot image, which is uh, georeferenced. So you can see here uh, this spot image has uh, the map information uh, like uh, UTM. Uh, I mean projection pixel data. On the other hand, uh, you can see here the TM image has no uh, information like the spot image. So uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will uh, we will georeference this TM image uh, using the spot image. If you again uh, open this available band list, just go to there, I mean the window, and then uh, click on available band list. So I will. Uh, open a new window for the spot image uh, before that check this grayscale then uh, go to display one the new display yeah, you can see a new dialog appears here after that load band yeah there are three uh, NB windows uh, has appeared So you can see in the right side uh, of the spot image and from the left side you can see uh, the TM image. You can use this tool for zoom out and uh, this tool for zoom in. So click on map then map registration select JCP image to image. So image to image your uh, registration dialog appears here uh, select <coughs> dial uh, select displays containing images 
so left on the base image which is on spot image so i am selecting display 2 which is base image uh, and the tm image as display 1 which is op image click ok so ground control point selection dialog appears here You can add individual ground control points by positioning the cursor in the two images to the same ground location. Uh, it is better to find ground control point which is across uh, the road or, or the river. So we have to uh, select at least uh, four points. Examine the locations in the two zoom windows and adjust the locations if necessary by clicking the left mouse button in each uh, zoom window at the desired locations. Uh, Subpixels positioning is supported in the zoom windows. The larger the zoom factor, the finer the positioning capabilities. So I have uh, already added four points. So we need uh, more some points. So RMS error, error is acceptable less than 0.4. You can also create automatically generate uh, ground control point. So here you can see warp image based matching choice. Select band to use for matching. So I am selecting band 2. Automatic type points parameters dialog has appeared. Here you can see number of type points. So uh, you can uh, write here or you can put here uh, uh, any number. Like I'm, I am putting here 40 and click OK. So you can see automatic ground control point uh, already added in the images. Now you have to uh, delete uh, unnecessary ground control point from the table. So we we will just uh, we will keep uh, only uh, point which is uh, less than point uh, five. So I'm deleting others unnecessary points. Go to file, you can save the GCP. So, here uh, uh, choose output folder, file name, and select the folder where you want to save your GCP points. So, I will create here a different, uh, a different uh, folder name and I am just uh, give it a name. then click ok so you can see the output is here also you can uh, restore this from ask
now go to option and warp file then uh, input warp image so tm image is our warp image then click ok you can see over here registration parameters warp parameters in the drop down list you can see uh, there are three methods so here i will select rst and for resampling uh, drop down list you can see uh, three method so i will select i have selected here nearest neighbor and background as zero and then enter output file name uh, select the folder where you want to save your output i'm giving it a name wrapped tm image and then click open okay yeah you can see uh, the warp image has appeared in three window yeah and and uh, this image is properly due referenced you can see the map information uh, also created and if you see the previous image here there is no geo reference information or map information but in the output image uh, you can see the map information so go to option and then wrap file as image to image image to map you can select tm image then ok in this method uh, you can uh, uh, you can put the pixel size as per your requirement and putting 30 meters pixel size and method you can see here three method so i'm just keeping it uh, as default resampling i'm just keeping the default value and this after that save your output file i'm writing uh, what 30 meters tm click open and then ok our opt image uh, is appeared here here ground control point you can uh, uh, you can use a warp file or you can use our file as image to map so or in our file uh, you cannot set the uh, pixel size but in uh, warp file as image to map you can set the pixel size we will check uh, before and after image to data manager you can see this is our geo referenced image and this is uh, just geo referenced and if you uh, go to the file information then you can see the projection or datum or all other information if you check uh, using this portal view then you can see the image has been geo referenced properly so today uh, you have learned about image to image georeferencing. If you need the data for practice, just put your email in comment sections. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.